Hello everybody! In this video we will see how to get data from a service that returns an observable type. We will display the data in a template and progressively we will update our logic to use an RxJS map operator and an Angular async pipe. So let's get started. At first let's see what we have in the VS code of our example. We have an empty component source code and if we go into the template, we will see that we have just a comment here with a name code capital. I will explain later why we need this. And let's go also into this service. I will collapse everything. And what we can see is that we have only one method, a get method, which returns an observable type of this interface, country response model. So let's follow this model. We have the name, top level domain, alpha2 code, alpha3 code, and so on and so forth. Let's close this and expand this method. We have some hard coded data, and as we can see, we have an array, and this array has several objects this object, this object, another object, and many other data in this file. In order to convert this array into an observable, we use the off method. And if we open this, we can see that we have the name, top level domain, alpha2 code, alpha3 code, and so on and so forth. So we have all the properties that this interface describes. The idea is to get all of the data, all of this data, and present them into the template in the app component HTML in this format. Name we want to, pre to present the code into parentheses, dash, and the capital. So, let's start. The first step is to use the country service into the component, to inject it into, into the component. So, I will do like pro private and inject the country service. We can then use the country service into the own init method, get, as we can see, this returns an observable type, and what we have to do whenever we have an observable type, we have to subscribe. So subscribe and get the, date, the data, which are all the countries. And now we have to manipulate this countries array, which is a country response model, to another type so that we can use it in our template. For this example, apart from the country response model, I have already created the country model. Let's have them side by side. On the left side we have the country model and on the right side we have the country response model. So let's think the following, that the country response model, this one, is the structure that we get from the server. And on the left side we have the structure that we want to present in our side, in the client. So we have the server response and we also have the client data structure. We have the client model. So we need to convert the data from this response to this type. So let's do this. I will close the country response model. I will close the country model and let's work in the component source code. I said the countries is the country response model and it's an array. So how can we convert this? Using a map, JavaScript map function. And each item is a country. And I want each country to convert it into a new different thing. So I want the name using the country name. I want to have the capital. And for the capital, I will use the country capital. And also I need to have the code, but this time I have to decide which code. We have the alpha2 code and alpha3 code. Let's go with alpha2 code. This is the structure that we want to get. And of course, we want to present this array, the new array, we want to present it into the template. To do so, I will create here the countries of country model array
and let's assign this array into this one. So we have the countries and now let's try to present this into the template. I will start with a simple UL and I want to have an iteration for each LI item. NG4 let country of countries and inside here I said we're going to have this structure. I will copy this and I will, I will interpolate the country name here inside here in the parentheses I will interpolate the country code and also I will interpolate the country capital nice so let's go to the browser and see what we have it seems that everything go went well we have Afghanistan with AF and this is the capital and so on and so forth nice so let's go into the code and let's ask ourselves is this code clean mm, not that much so let's make it cleaner for this purpose i will create a method a private one and i will name it to client this method will be responsible to convert a server response to a client data structure and the response of this method will be a country model. This method will accept a countries and this countries will be a country response model array and this should be the conversion. So let's return this. Now we have the, the method to client and we can use it here. this to client and I will provide the countries nice now it seems better and it's more readable the code let's go into the template the browser and this is what we have awesome now the code is more readable but since we have here the subscribe we definitely need to unsubscribe so let's create also a country subscription and the type of this one is a subscription and of course we have to use the on destroy hook implement it let's move it here and in this place we will unsubscribe this country subscription unsubscribe nice again let's go to the browser everything works well if we check the code, we will see that now it's okay. It's safe, we have the unsubscribe, but it's not that much elegant. So we have too much code into the component and we don't like it that much. So if, if this component requires to present more data, we need to have more code here and the code will become flaky and hard to maintain. Let's refactor this code and what we're going to do is to use a map operator, a map RxJS operator. I will delete this one and we don't need to have the subscription, we don't need to have the on destroy and definitely we don't need to have this nor the on destroy hook. And what we have to do is to use the pipe and then the map which is an RxJS operator and the argument of this map function will be the countries and we have to return now the country model like we have here to client so let's use it let's reuse this method this to client and I will provide this countries and of course somehow we need to use this class property and assign it here so let's do so these dot countries equals to this one and what's the problem the problem is that this returns an observable but this is not an observable so let's convert this observable of country model and in order to be aligned with angular style guide let's also here add the dollar sign and now let's go to the template 
and change this to dollar and also use use the async pipe nice so let's go to the browser and everything works works well let's go to the source code and as we can see we don't have the on destroy hook we don't have the subscription nor the unsubscription using the async pipe is much better because we don't care we don't have to care about subscribing or unsubscribing so let's improve the code even more it's not a good idea to have the data manipulation into the component so we will create a new service and I will name it country mapper and this service will be responsible to convert the data from a server response to a client structure to a client interface so let's create this nggs from the service and I will name it as the country mapper in the country mapper service let's keep this open I will move this method the method to client so cut it from here and paste it here and of course we don't need to have it a private we need to have it a public one import this and also import the country model I don't care about the constructor and now let's inject the country mapper service into our component so private country mapper service and of course we'll have to use it this country mapper service to client nice so let's go to the browser and we can see that everything works fine now in terms of clean code it's, uh, it's cleaner we have a single responsibility uh, each one each service is responsible to do different thing the country service is responsible to provide us the data the country's mapper service is responsible to do the conversions and the component is responsible to get the data and provide it into the template we can improve this even more and the idea would be the component to get the data from a service and me as a component i want to get to have my data ready to present them and we will simply do the following we will delete this service from here and we will move it into the country service so let's add the constructor let's inject it here and now we will get this pipe and we will move it at the end of the off method here let's import everything and of course now we have to change this this one won't, won't return the country response model but it will return the country model like this awesome so let's go back to the component and now as we can see we have a very very minimal component the only thing that it does is that it gets data from a service we keep them into an observable uh, and we're doing the iteration using the async pipe let's go to the browser and this is what we have everything works fine and let's see once more what we have here again in terms of single responsibility and separation of concerns this code is very elegant we have the component which is responsible to do one thing we have the service which is responsible to get the data and we have another service which is responsible to convert our data so that was it thanks for watching